Now you are ready to place the electrodes on the patient. If you are not wearing gloves during the placement procedure, try not to touch the adhesive backing of the electrode as the oils from your skin could reduce the electrode's ability to adhere properly. This diagram illustrates the typical electrode placement for Holter monitoring. This is a 5-lead, 3-channel hookup. If there is deviation from this placement, please make note of it. Once you have placed the electrode, trace the outline of the electrode with your finger, making sure that the gel in the center of each electrode maintains contact with the skin surface. Also, make sure when placing the electrode that it does not wrinkle. Avoid pressing on the center of the electrode as that may disrupt the gel and impede the conduction of the electrical impulses. Once all electrodes have been put in place, you are now ready to attach the patient cable wires to the electrodes. To avoid too much pressure being placed on the center of the electrode, the patient cable wires can be attached to the electrode prior to placement. Attach the patient cable wires to the electrodes according to the color coding indicated on the diagram of the IQ Holter Quick Reference Guide. Here are some tips for optimal electrode hookup. It does not matter which way the electrode is pointing. Each electrode has a small slit on the bottom left side of the electrode to allow you to create a stress loop. Adding the stress loop at each site will lessen the chance of the wire disconnecting from the electrode due to movement and reduces artifact if the leads are pulled or tugged during normal patient activity.